it's so easy to, I'll give you a title and a little bit of grace, or let, let's say all oh, this change. It's so it easy. It sounds like it will. It sounds like it will. Keep going. <laughs> because quitting is fair, ain't it, Jerome? You don't know what I've been through. No, it ain't fair. Well, I understand. But, but, but it pisses it, me off. Right, well, fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> But it, it gets when it's when it's time to quit. Uh, well, Mr. Smith, we Mr. can, huh? Mr. Yeah, Smith, go ahead. Yeah, you don't use my name. Yes, sir. Because you know, you know, you use my name. Of course. Okay. All right, Vince, you use my name. Yes, sir. Yesterday was an interesting day to quit. Why? Because I got an email from Miss Diana. Oh, yes, it. Ooh, it was sweet. It was sweet. I got an email from Grace. Oh, it was even sweeter. And she owed me another email. I finished my second book, sent it to Melissa, and told her, if this is good, let's talk about when we're going to order that second book. And all of that happened yesterday. Yeah. Did, 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 Mr. Smith, yes, did, did you hear me? And yes, then I sat down this morning and read what you did yesterday. Because I ran off all 17 pages that Grace sent to me, mm -hmm. and I went, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. I say, no, he, I kept saying, no, he, the, the, Mr. Smith, the way you did that yesterday, okay, the first thing you did, and I didn't catch it when you was doing it. I don't know if anybody else caught it. Sorry to take over the, 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 the session this morning. You're doing well, sir. But, but, but what you did yesterday, the first thing you did, when you spoke to Chat GPT, you told Chat Chat GPT to give Jerome some things or something that he could end up making money with. Yes, sir. And that's what it did. It gave me these options mm -hmm. to choose from. I wasn't stuck with one option. No, you gave sir. me all these options to choose from, and I could pick which one or multiple ones to choose. That was the first thing you did, Mrs. Yes, Smith. Sir. Then you took that. And then told Jack P Chat PBT, you just say, well, let me take one of those, okay? And let me let me let me do an example to show him how that works. And mm -hmm. then you did that. And then when you went into that example, then you gave me a variety of which ways to take the one example. And God, I said, he didn't do this. Come on now. God hey, wait a minute, Mr. Smith. Wait a minute, Mr. Smith. He did that for free. Come mm -hmm. on, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. I was saying cha-ching. Cha no, I say, no, this Negro didn't do mm -hmm. this for free. Oh, no. Let me, let me. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to shut up right now, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going mm -hmm. Mr. Smith, mm -hmm. I'm going to quit tomorrow. I'm not going to quit today. If, that, if that's okay with you, I'm going to quit tomorrow. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm still, I'm still receiving the residue from yesterday. Oh, yeah. was it some residue? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm be quiet. You know, Thank you, you Uncle you. Rome. Yes, Thank you yes, very much. Yes, I needed well. that. I needed that very much, yeah. even though it wasn't for me. But what you said was very awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, I forgot to ask you, Bishop. Yes. Um, I think I'm I'm in jail on Facebook because I told somebody I'm going to run them over with my wheelchair, mm -hmm. and I called them a female dog. I mean, it was just. That'll put you in jail if they, they report you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so um, can I use what Grace was teaching me? Because I got StreamYard, but when I was on StreamYard, Renee was on and Grace was looking for me and they couldn't see it. Got you. So could I use what Grace taught me to, and then when you have time, you could upload it and then I could share it to my page and all that stuff. Absolutely, no problem. So, so at least for a couple of weeks until I figure out if I have to um, make a whole new page. I don't want to because it's a headache. Right. But just make a group. Just make a group for your for your conversation, Papa Jen. Well, yeah, that's true too. It's your, it's your community, baby. But um, yeah, if I can do that for a little bit until I can. Figure something out if you don't mind, sir. That's no problem. It'll All right, sure. fine. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I want to address both of what 
but everything has been said so far. Let's 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 mix them all together, Jerome. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix them all together. You ready, Grace? Ready, sir. Mix them all together. We're gonna mix them all together. Firstly, you don't understand what I've been through. And how hard it is. And it would just be easier if I just quit. Because everybody expect me to do that anyway. And since you expect me to do it, I'm going to show you how to do it then. It's not that I'm sad. It's just, it never worked out for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It don't ever work out for me. I know God exists, but not for me. Not that way. Not the way God treat Janice. <clears throat> me, 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 me. That's my make sure the tonsils and throat is working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who knows what I'm talking about? Who said any any something like this? <laughs> it's a self-talk. Yes. I'm doing self-talk right now. Oh, I, I, I quit at least a hundred times a day. Yeah, yeah. fair yeah. enough. Yeah, fair yesterday enough. there had to be something in the universe because it was just a very off day mm -hmm. and I was peed off and ready to quit yesterday it happens doesn't it and it had nothing to do with the company at all mm -hmm. it, it happens it happens no no, no. i mean what well, i'm let me let me let me finish self-talk i'm not this ain't out loud talk janet this is self-talk i don't know why this always happens to me I don't even know why he chose me. Why she with me? I ain't gonna be no good anyway. Mr. Smith, you gotta stop. You know why? <laughs> I, did I did I tell you I finished the second book and sent it to Melissa? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Everything you saying right now is in that book, Jerome. As I as I wrap it up, come mm. on now. As I I'm just, I, I'm just saying, okay, uh, an expendable <sighs> life. It's coming. In a few weeks. In a few weeks. Few weeks. Get your get your get your money together. Please. It's coming. Hello. Please. Please. <laughs> Please. Can we share this cover? It doesn't have the words on it, but let me show, <laughs> show that cover. Go ahead and show that cover. Yes. Well, he he, he probably don't know how to do. You might have to do it for him, Melissa. You might have to share it for him. Oh, she did. She did. She yeah. did. The, you did the one for me. It's inside. But then she did another one. Yeah, she, and, and I, the one she did is beautiful. No, no, no. Oh, who you? Wait a minute, wait a minute beautiful. now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me keep it 100. Mm -hmm. When I first looked at it, I, and I sent it to her in an email, it was too Christian, right? And you know, I'm I'm Baptist Christian, you know that. But mm -hmm. the book ain't just for Christians. Then I looked at it a second time, and I went, no, she didn't. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Melissa, you outdid yourself on that one, girl. Woo! Yeah, it looks good. Melissa, you are amazing. We need you. So you can't go nowhere, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that old, that brain, you, you can just share why I'm talking, Melissa, just find the shit. That brain, though, you know how it is, Tracy. I put it over in the chat. Oh, oh, you so did. I oh, see. Oh, watch Look yourself now. Okay, now. Look at that. Look at that. So, <laughs> right, so, right. You know what's interesting about this conversation? I think there's no one on here that could admit that we don't have those conversations. Thank you. I Thank do. You. And I, I mean, I really do. And I don't, I, I would say every day, maybe not every day, but often, but mm -hmm. I finally mm -hmm. figured it out. It's going to happen. It's going to be there. I just talk to it. I recognize it. I have a conversation with it. Say you have in a moment and I read sentence it. I repurpose it and said, okay, what if it's not that way? Or it's probably not that way. I tell myself, you in a moment, have your freaking moment and get over it. Mm -hmm. And so now I, we do a dance. I know it's there, but I don't let it take over. So That's every right. single one of you guys are brilliant. Every single one of us have something to say, have something to produce, have something to contribute. Just know that. And when that voice comes up, don't fight it. 
to say, I see you, but you don't belong here and slide it over. It's on a regular, get used to it. It's part of what we call this thing, crazy life. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Absolutely not. Going nowhere. Let me, let me, let me, let me jump back into, let me jump back into myself, myself talk real quick. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, you think, look, you think I'm thinking your talk. I'm just going on. I'm just saying what's going on in my head. And Y'all you just must be in all our heads. You, you must know? be in all <laughs> our heads. We got the man. same head. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one of us in the room. <laughs> it's only one of us in the room. <laughs> There's only one of us in the room. We got the same brain. I don't know why this won't ever work for me. You don't understand how hard I'm trying? I don't know why God don't do for me. I can't do this no more. Come on now. Come on. That, 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 that one right there, Tracy, gets said a couple okay. times a day. Antonio, mm -hmm. now I'm trying. I'm trying to get my husband get the Hoya lift on him, and I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it is like yesterday. I blame I blame Deanna. Now I'm gonna blame you because all this happened because you said Renee. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put you on here for crazy yep. weird news. This is your fault. This is no fault because it started with you. And I'm like, why he has to do actually. this? That's facts, actually. That's 100% facts. And I said, why he has to do this? Sam was in our group. I said, surely. I was like, Sam was a whole <laughs> lot more, um, wow, a whole lot more outspoken than I was. I said, why in the world is this dude making, having me do this? I'm like, surely there's somebody else that could do it. Mm -hmm. But that's where, and that's where did you say started. dude or did you say something else? <laughs> no, actually, I did say that dude because I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know him. She, know she him, was being you know nice. That day, I probably right. would now, but <laughs> then I, I, you know, I was kind of like, I don't know this dude, I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? And he, he trying to get me to come out, come on, baby. She but me by my real I, name, I'm like, John. I'm yeah, like, this dude is obviously tripping, I don't know why he got me doing this, but. And you're the only one left. And you know, and I'm like, dang. But there, there's, yeah. But it's a, um, I, I severely thought something was wrong, Antonio, because I was like, I don't get voted for. Mm -hmm. You know, at the time, I was like, I don't get voted for for, for stuff like that. It's always, mm -hmm. you know, the people, they're like, yeah, you know, they're out there a little bit more. Their attitudes are not necessarily like mine because I'm an off in the cut type of person. But I'm off the cuff person that you made me upstage. You made me front stage, center stage. So I'm just like, I made the right decision. Too, that, that didn't happen before until this. And I'm like, this dude is tripping. You see, you're still doing it though, huh? But I had to rise to the occasion. I, I, I made the right decision though. Yeah. Uh huh. You're yeah. Still doing it though. Yeah. Right? And I had to rise to the I had to rise to the occasion every day. And sometimes yeah. it was mm -hmm. easy mm -hmm. to want to give up. On crazy mm -hmm. weird news, but then I had to be like, you know what? I'm on this until the wheels fall off, mm -hmm. and in two years the wheels ain't falling off, and I don't have any intention of letting go of it. So it's mm. now it's become a part of me, mm. and it's become a a way for me to put myself out there, even on the days that I'm like I'm fighting to stay encouraged, where I'm fighting to be like, who's gonna be on? Where I'm fighting, I'm fighting that, but I'm still showing up every day and i can't not show up because if i'm holding levon and jay to a high to a to them showing up then i means i gotta show up extra extra hard right. and come in in the paint and do it with a with a attitude of excellence and That's so right. i'm grateful i'm grateful i thought you was tripping antonio I know. but i'm grateful i know i know fun, fun so, fact here fun fact <laughs> You're the only group leader that I picked. Everybody else picked themselves. Oh, Stop wow. Yourself. Shut up. Yourself. I, I, Shut I, up. I dare you to go back in your brain and see yeah. if you're telling the truth. Oh, snap. Yep. Wow. Yeah. That being said, crazy weird news is 219 episodes. 219. 219 episodes. Woo! Oh my God. 219. Look at that. My God.
Oh my God. I only got married her for money. Oh my mm. gosh. Mm. And the I married him I... for his credit score. <laughs> <laughs> the one I shouldn't have picked is the one that keep going. Mm. Watch yourself. My mm. God. Wow. My God. It's tight. Mm. Oh boy, I feel real good right about that. <laughs> mm. Hmm, I'm feeling that in my shine on uh, Antonio. <laughs> mm. I feel like we said something there, Jerome. I feel like something was said. Well, what what Renee don't know, she sounds just like Tracy, who did fire, mm -hmm. and she was saying the same thing. Yeah, about not Tracy, and and not yeah, Tracy she, she became she, Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> I said, look at Tracy. I said, look at Tracy doing her thing. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tracy out here speaking everywhere. Tracy's people, all sorry, yeah. yeah. People launching they they opening events off her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This ain't got nothing. This, this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Uh, but your classmate, Antonio, she she back from Australia. She was over that gallivant. Okay. I just want to mess with her. Yeah, what's she gallivanting <laughs> with? Over that gallivant. With a boo thing. No, but, <laughs> it was she, it was it was the job, but you know she was gallivanting too. Yeah, you know. okay. so yeah. we'll be back in Australia soon. I ain't, you know, but we I, we gotta go to the safe parts though. In Australia got every crazy animal in the world go to Australia. I don't know what that's about, man. What that's about? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me finish. You just don't understand. I try so hard. And then that's when I get mad, Janice. Fuck that. I'm not trying no more. Oh no, y'all don't. Yo, don't, don't act like you don't cuss in your head. Don't do, don't do me like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't do oh, me yeah. like that. Many a day. Many a day. Right. Jay, Jay was cussing earlier. Okay, this is this is internal talk. I, didn't say, I don't cuss. How do you ah, get out of here? I'm not to <laughs> me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the mere fact that Adelia don't cuss out loud tells you in her head she be cussing all of us out. <laughs> Dang Skippy. Yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> Ying and yang. Ying and yang. All right. There's a balance going on around this thing. You, I mean, I, forget that. I'm not going to do that no more. You know what? I quit. Nope. Ain't nobody going to talk me out of it. And then Jerome say something, I'd be like, I don't want to hear that shit, I, Jerome. I don't want to hear it. How you, how you, how you know what I'm talking about? When I, when you get in that mood, the only thing you want is more of in that mood. Yep. Song got the match. That's it. Food <laughs> got the match. The food is out too know. unhealthy, or you don't want to eat at all. I don't want nothing. Mm -hmm. And then, then you go so Then, then, oh, don't, don't let me do this with law. Only person really loved me dead. God took them away. Come on now. Come on, help me somebody. Come on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not recently, <laughs> high grads. Recently, high. Come on, man. Too soon, too soon. <laughs> Look, it is easy to quit. And to be honest with you, every time you quit, you're absolutely right. You're fair. We don't know what you're going through. And it is unfair and you, it shouldn't be happening to you that way. But the thing about when people quit, we like to make people think they are wrong for quitting. But when people quit, they're absolutely right. You just didn't come here to be right. You came here to be a winner. No, no, no. Every loser sitting on a mama couch is right. They're so right that they attract a reason to get fired. I'm just see, see, I don't think self-sabotage is wrong. No. If you think it, you are right. And I ain't even got to my folk like Grace that had them anger problems. If you got some serious anger problems, you you may have. Act like Grace now, you done got over them. But I'm talking about the real anger folk. Would you would, would you let us know you're present, please? You know I'm just, and, 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 and if you halfway, then That's you ain't one of present. One of present. Grace don't have no anger problems. You tripping. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh don't you? <laughs> break all them clowns on your dress. 
I'm a little that's my myself. <laughs> but that's how it worked, though, right? You got the anger problems. You get angry. You know, self talk happens. So I get it, Prophet Jay. I'm with you. Listen, I, I used to quit, but I realized I didn't take the weak route. Absolutely. Look, I'm not telling you quitting is right. I'm telling you, when you quit, you right. You are going through a lot. And it is too much. Please try. There's a, there is a subtle grace I'm talking with right now. It is too much. It's not fair to you, Jerome. It's not fair that you, like, knowing when people quit. So we judge them for quitting. But you don't know how long it took Janice to quit. She's been trying for 13 years. You see the quit. You don't see her standing up with broken legs. You don't see that. Now, you don't see how long she prayed for that man, for that man to do a bad. <clears throat> you don't see that. That's not what you see. What you see is something very, very, very different. That's fair. It's fair. Let me see. So yes, every time you quit, you are 100% right. Let me be the first non-motivational speaker to tell you you are right. All of you should quit. Every last one of you should quit. But if you do, you're not going to get the gold. Because every time you are right, air quotes, you're three feet from gold. So this is what I'm trying it, to do. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead, please. please. May, may I? Because this is this is just my warehouse mm -hmm. because it, it's so me. But this, I hope someone gets blessed with this because he, here's what I realized. When you quit, that means you're stuck. Some, you're missing something. You need something. You don't know something. And it's just telling you it's time to stop for a minute, even if you have to quit for an hour or for the day. I need a timeout because your, your brain, something's not processing. But there's a message there that's saying either you're close, that you're going the wrong way, you might need to turn around, that you need to raise your hand because you have, you are so you need something else or someone else to kind of come in and, and, and rewire how you're thinking. You're just missing some information. It doesn't mean stop. It doesn't mean you're wrong. It, or it might even mean, wait, maybe you do need to do a U-turn and go the other way. You were close and now you're moving further away. It's, there's a message in there. Take a moment, whether it's a day, whether it's an hour, whether it's the weekend, stop for the moment. And then I'm telling you, you'll wake up and all of a sudden something will come to you, an epiphany, of, of, and then you go back to it. I promise you, I've been there. I promise you, something comes up, but you got to allow it to come up and be open for it. Mm -hmm. That is so well said. That's so serious. That is, that's, it's you're capturing when I'm attempting to tell everybody. So let me take the, the fun out of it and the poetry out of it. And let me tell you what I'm really saying. What I'm really saying is there is a traumatized version in all of us that is right 100% of the time about quitting. It's not fair. And every time you don't give that traumatized version of you a voice, that traumatized version gets louder and more sabotaging. So the next time you feel like quitting, let that traumatized version, exactly as Adonia said, have a voice. Hey, you're right. We should quit. But lean with me and let's try it a different way. So y'all out here trying to kill, you're trying to kill your trauma. You want to kill what's wrong with you. But what's wrong with you is the best part of you. It's, it's, it's what got you here. It's why you want to change the world. I ain't trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear that. Fair enough. I know. Little you ain't going to run. Never trying to hear. No, I ain't trying to hear. Just, just give me cupcakes and let me leave me alone. <laughs> the traumatizers only want cupcakes and tacos. That's it. That's it. And I get it. I get it. I get it. I want you to know, like, 
Prophet Jeremy said, I, I want to quit. All of you deserve to quit. There's not a single one of us here that do not deserve to quit. That's what life is doing to us. Life is trying to make Melissa quit on purpose. And the goal of life is to her, for her to ascend past that karma. That's it. Until she ascends past it, she don't learn a lesson. So life keeps repeating the same thing that makes her want to quit. You missed it. That's okay. It's okay. The reason you want to quit is because you haven't ascended past that. And that thing has been happening for years and months or even a whole life cycle. As soon as law says, I'm gonna keep going, no matter what, that problem ceased to exist. It's part of the hero's journey. But why would life want to take me through it over and over? Because that's what you came here for, ascension. We did not come here to live. We came here to be living. I came to be chocolate and pretty. Well, that's true. That okay. is true. That is true. Be chocolate pretty and a living soul. How many of you know there's a difference between being alive and living one? Yep. Because living and alive are not the same thing. They're not the same thing. They're not the same thing. And little you wants to be living but is afraid. Of course you're afraid. You know how I many times, first off, if you're an entrepreneur, you crazy as hell just to begin with. I think we can just start there. If you are an entrepreneur, you are, you are insane. You have said, hmm, I'm going to take the route of no security. I'm going to trust in myself in this crazy world and believe I can create something out of nothing with no help and find help along the way. That's dumb. That's dumb. Imagine giving birth to a baby and saying, ah, Mom, I don't need you no more. You, two days old, I don't need you, Mom. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Thank you. Thank you, though. Thank you for bringing me here. Thank you for the first 48 hours of milk. I want to take the route of no security. <laughs> I want to take the route of no security. I'm going to go Antonio, on <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you can tell if someone is living or now like living or just alive by yeah. looking in their eyes. Ooh. There's a distance in their eyes. Ooh. 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 And you can even see it in children that are neglected, abused, starving. They even, you know, usually children have sighted eyes, but you can even see it in mm -hmm. that. You That's see bad. it in nursing homes when you go there, but it's all around us in every, every day we are going to encounter somebody in that position. Yeah, hear that? That's that empath talk right there. Ooh, they, crazy entrepreneur. <laughs> Yeah, oh my God, imagine being an empathic entrepreneur. Oh Lord, I feel bad for y'all off the rip. And there are some out there. Mm -hmm. There are some that they think it's what they want to do, but then they really don't have that level of ascension, as you say, yeah, to, to really make an impact and truly help someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's tough it's unfair but you know what grace nothing's really unfair it's just a word that we call a vibration of how we're feeling so before tracy got the law of god let me give it to you real the only time that comes up is right before you're about to win as soon as you feel like quitting that's not strong enough I'm not talking about feel like quitting. I'm talking about like Melissa said, I quit yesterday. I mean, she unquit two minutes later, but I'm talking about that. Not to feel like quitting. The when you go, I quit. Right there, you are three feet away from gold. 
And you got options to do. I mean, if you really feel bad, then take a nap. <clears throat> Genuinely, take a nap. You will figure this out in your sleep. Your dream state is your real state. If I can get you on a, it's hard to, it's because we, we, we know this as a kid, but then somehow we lose our imagination. But our imagination is the real world. It produces like Bridge of Terabithia, Terab maybe or Chronicles of Narnia. It produces the real world. <clears throat> but as we get older, we look at the real world and that produces our imagination. We look at happen to get on stage and then we, in our imagination, we go, oh my God, I'm going to look stupid. I'm going to die. Can, can you see it? Like, we look at the real world and our imagination goes wild. Instead of when you're a kid, your imagination goes wild. And you were like, I don't know how this boy is so happy. He don't even know his mom is about to go broke. We about to lose this house. And this baby going pew, 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 pew. Yeah. 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 We've all seen it. We've all seen it, right? Antonio. Yes, yes ma'am. That's why Phil, before every presentation, and then he he shares that he has shared that here on the Bureau of Dominant Speakers. Right as they're introducing him, he's he's getting into that zone. Yeah. And he's he says to himself, give not thoughts to the words I speak, let the spirit flow, not my will, but thy will. And then he offers it up. It may be exactly what he was going to do, and it may take some turns along the way. And that's the beauty of it. That is. So Tracy, before you when they're introducing you. Say, give not thoughts to the words I speak. Let the spirit flow, not my will, but thy will. And things will come out of your mouth that you didn't know you were going to say that are perfect. Mm, I like the last can, part, that are perfect. Yeah, go ahead, Tracy. Can I say something in that Please. space right there? Um, yeah. Like, so I started doing the lives. Um, and this morning I did a live. And I was going to just, you know, three three minutes real quick on and off but I I literally did that this morning Miss Susan and um said okay let the words flow through me and when I started talking it was like it just started coming and coming and I was like okay I gotta cut this off I gotta go to work but it was <laughs> <laughs> it was like yeah and like just more and more and I was like okay I gotta stop I'll come back on lunchtime and give him some more so that's exactly what happened that's too funny I find that hilarious she went from, oh, my God, I can't talk and go live. I'm going to just go to work. To, oh, my God, I'm talking too well. I got to go to work. <laughs> but that's, that's what I'm talking That's winning. That's when, oh, man, this is too fun, right? Winning creates problems. Winning creates problems. If you feel like quitting, I feel you. I quit every day. Every day I quit. But. It never lasts more than a second or two. I just don't know how to quit. I just, no matter how bad I look, no matter how much people turn on me, talk about me, I don't know how to quit. I, I have a, I have a different thing that I heard somebody say this one time and it affected me. I'm going to say it to you. And it, it affected me because I feel the same way. I didn't know nobody else was the same way. I didn't know nobody else was saying, this is why I affected me. So I'll say the exact same words. It was Robert Hockley. Robert Hockley was only, Grace and John know that. And he was saying, man, I just got to see it through to the end. I just have to, like, no matter, I, I, if I lose all my money, I still have to see it through to the end. I started something and I just have to see it through to the end. I don't know another way to be. And that really affected me because I thought it was just me. You know, because when you say, Trace, I'm going to lose all my money. People say, I don't do that. You should have changed. You should, you should, you should, no, you shouldn't do that. If you know it's not working, change. And let me tell you something. When you've done all your plan and you know what you're supposed to do and it is not working, do not change. Change your methods. But do not change this mission. You keep going. 
And you go, no matter how stupid you look, because financially, economically, the idea that you got in your head, that thing that God wants you to change the world with, is going to cost about $5 million. No, it is. It's going to cost about $5 million. And you only spent $3,600. And that's why nobody's paying attention to you yet. Because you ain't spent enough money to make them see grace is the man. One man. It costs a lot of money for Tracy to let people know I'm who you're supposed to be following. So two lives ain't going to do it. 200 ain't going to do it either. There's a magic number out there for you, Gracie. There's a magic number out there for you, Tracy. There's a magic number, but you got to go hit that number. You got to hit that number. Oh, we wouldn't be sitting under no damn light bulbs right now if Thomas Edison didn't do it. You got to hit that number. We'll all be lighting candles right now with magnifying glasses, lighting candles, smoke signals with Zoom calls. Go ahead, Law. You know, the smoke signal had me cracking up. No, I wanted to add to that because I was watching um, Monique's uh, post uh, the other day, the other day, I think it was this morning. Um, and she mentioned that Richard Pryor, before he had passed, he had told her never change. And I just thought that was so powerful with her saying that even everything that she's been through with being she blacklisted and all that. Much. Right. She's, you know, making her comeback and people are really starting to see her stardom even though it was always there and they were just jealous of her yeah 50, but, it, was, it took 50 cent to put her back on and right. let me go, go ahead let me exactly and her whole thing was never change continue going on the path in which you are some way somehow you're gonna get to where you're supposed to get to just yeah. never change and i just thought that was so powerful it is. and when you were saying what you were saying that brought me back to her message and what she was saying yeah. Yeah, no, it is. It is. And if I'm not mistaken, she got a new Netflix special now. That, that's what caused all the problem. If I'm not mistaken. She done sued them, done mm -hmm. one, and still got a And still got the Netflix. Special. Now that is a bad woman. <laughs> <laughs> still got the special. They 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 blackballed her. They they absolutely blackballed her. It was inappropriate. It was wrong. It was wrong. You, 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 when, see, when women stand up for themselves, I have no idea why the media is so treacherous to women standing up for themselves. I don't get it. When Megan Thee Stallion said, this man shot me, the whole media turned against her. This don't make no sense. I don't get it. I, I, I don't get why women are shunned and stupefied right. for taking up for themselves. I just, and I just, black women even more. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, no doubt. No doubt, no doubt. Just it just baffles me, man. I just get confused by that. I don't. This uh, apparently I'm supposed to be participating, but I missed that class, Janice. I, mean, I missed that class when I'm supposed to just get mad at women for being women. I missed that class. I, I must have missed it. I don't get it. And don't you say I think that sometimes I quit too. But you know, I, every, we all quit. We all quit. I just don't know how to stay quit. I don't. I, I do not know how. I'm telling you, I've taken some, some, some big L's. I'm taking some big L's, and and they, and most of them ain't got nothing to do with me. You, if y'all knew how many losses I have taken because of people I have trusted, now take some of those losses. Them losses hurt worse. When people mad at you, and when you're publicly embarrassed because somebody else didn't do their job intentionally and then come to you and say, well, I'm sorry, I'll get better next time and don't get better, Tracy, that hurt. And your only reaction you can do, Janice, is go, okay. Because if you're going to be a Christ-like figure, you got to take the cross. I'll change this whole call. If you gonna be 
the Messiah of your group, you got to take them calls. You got to take them crosses. You got to take those. Oh, yeah, you got to take that. You got to take that, Jay. You ain't got no choice. You got to take that. And Jerome, they always call Jerome. Everything will go wrong in the family. Crosses. Here, Jerome, take my cross. Take my cross, Jerome. Take my cross. All right, Tracy. Take my cross. Take my cross. It, by the way, the, oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you was waving down. <clears throat> by the way, Deanna's book came out today, y'all. Fantastic Fables. Melissa, could you drop the link? <laughs> Fables of the Fantastic, excuse me. Could you drop the link? Deanna's book came out. She gonna, I know, I know she's gonna try to hold on. I know. Look, she can't wait to unmute the mic and say, wait a minute now. I understand. Let me just say Deanna's, but my book came out too. But let me just say Deanna's because I guess I saw her little wrist. It bowed up. I saw a little wrist bow up real quick. Let me let me do this the right way. Okay. Let me do this the right way. Deanna's book came out today. Melissa will be dropping the link. And somebody will be sharing a screen to show it on the screen. There it is right there. Grace, if you can handle that, please. There you go. Her book came out. Okay. There you go. There you go. Right there. Look at it. If y'all could, if you could, if you could purchase this wonderful book, Fables of the Fantastic, that would be most amazing thank you so much <clears throat> thank you so much thank you grace Go my book, yes. my book came was, out it, too my melissa book got came. it faster than me <laughs> that was melissa yeah. shared oh, okay melissa shared again my book came out too but i've been talking about my book i'm gonna talk about my book after this y'all gonna get text messages about my book because i'm aggressive she's not as aggressive as me so we're gonna make this particular part about her book because y'all ain't gonna never not hear about my book. Ever. You're gonna die. And I might sneak a book in your casket. I might. <laughs> I might charge folk to get in your funeral. Buy a book. You can see Janice. If not, you can't you can't see her. It's a private ceremony. That it's a is private funny. Ceremony. I might, I might though. I might. I <laughs> but might. But that's something I think you do know it. <laughs> Did you really oh, just say that? Your that sale, you, your sale, what? Now really? Now <laughs> if you know what? You, if you, Janice, go to your room. Get you one of these. Books. I told you he trifling. <laughs> <laughs> get you one of these books, then you can see her. If not, it's a private ceremony. You don't deserve to be here. Thank you so much. That's, that's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> if you really love her, you'll buy one of my. But who are you? Don't worry about that. This is the rules. This is the rules. <laughs> so, the honest book came out. Dan, want to give us a little speech, please? I'm excited. <clears throat> oh, I was talking with Antonio and his dad the other night. <clears throat> and his dad pointed Don't out be humble. Thing. Don't be humble. Thank you, Jerome. Yes, yes sir. Uncle Jerome. Thank you, Jerome. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I was talking with Antonio and his dad the other night. <laughs> For the Lord needs his... to read the book. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. The damn law. Go ahead. <laughs> and he was telling me how I'm in different genres. Like the first, the, so framework is self-help. Fables of the Fantastic is just for fun. It, it's, it's a book of short stories, but... It has a little different swing to it when you get to the end of the story. But it's just something I did for fun, you know. And then the other book I have coming out is educational. It's it's health related, but it's educational. So I don't know. I just no, it no, feels, no wait, it wait feels, a minute. I got it. Let me uh, put Mike. Her next book is about herbs. It's over six hundred pages of what herbs do, the effect they have on your body, and all sorts of stuff. It is the only book in existence that is a research book on herbs. It is so good. I told her that doctors would be buying her book to learn about nutrition. Okay, now you can keep on going. Yes, sir. The next book is a, is a research book. Get out of here. <laughs> it, just, it just feels good to have fun doing what you do. That's right. Like, 
it's fun. And when you've spent so many years doing what you're supposed to do Uh-oh. and not doing what you have fun doing, you get to that point where you're like, you know what? Like Antonio was saying earlier, it's, it's a difference between living and being alive. And it feels good living. It feels good when you're here. <laughs> It feels good when you can when the things you dreamed about as a kid, you actually do. It's, it's gonna feel even better when your son is holding your book and smiling. And you're not crying in yes. Starbucks in time. Yeah, well, he's after trying, after he's this trying to make meeting, it, he's trying to make it this, after this meeting, you 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 come on home. And after this meeting, you're gonna come on home. You just make a, make a trip back up. Uh, did, did did you hear, Grace? Did you hear? It feels good when your son see you as an author. You understand, mommy? This is your book, and then take take the book to school, and then treat the book like his favorite toy, and then since he know how to read. Reads the book and interrupts grandma in church. Mom, grandma, my mama book was like that too. That man said something that was in my mama book. I like it. This character named Jessica. Uh-huh. Maybe, maybe randomly yeah. just read. Yeah. Just, yeah. Mama, does that yeah. say this? Mama, like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. okay. <laughs> Good luck. <luck. laughs> Okay. You, can, so nah. you can borrow mine every now and then. If you want to get on the plane and fly to where it snows anyway, so <laughs> I need a child. <laughs> you can borrow <laughs> mine. Hey, Deanna, it says it's out of stock on Amazon. Temporarily out of stock. Okay, I'm sure. It shows it. I'm looking at the cover. Melissa posted one and is in stock. Maybe the hard copy, hardback is in stock. It's a paperback. The, yeah, the paperback's not out yet. The hardcover is. Okay. Okay, she'll she she's gonna post that link. She gonna post that link. There you go. Good. Mm-hmm. good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Y'all both. I say this all the time. I say this all the time. But y'all don't back. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. Go back to your field. I read something on, I think it was TikTok, and it made some sense to me. It said, your kid just wants to be loved, your teenager wants revenge, and your adult wants peace. I've realized that when you love your kid, you give your teenager a voice, your adult does find peace. That's pretty intense. So, so go and love your kid. You're never too old to be a kid. Like, we were taught we hit a certain age, you're supposed to be an adult. Like, that's what messed me up. At 18, I was told I was too old to be with the youth, but I was too young to be with the adults. And I was like, what the hell am I supposed to be? Quiet. That's what you were Yeah, saying. that's what I was supposed to be. But when I go back to my kid and I'm like, okay, you know what you're right. Let's go play. Let's go do a puzzle. Let's go color. Let's go do something. My kid is happy. And I tell my teenager, okay, you know what? I understand. This pissed you off. This made you angry. But we're past that now. Let's work through this together. My teenager's like, okay, well, at least you heard me. And my adult is at peace because I ain't got three people more and they talking to me anymore. So <laughs> love my kid. Go back to those dreams you have as a kid. Go go back to those and do those. It's, it's, it's never too late. Don't wrong. It's, wrong. it's never too late, Mr. Phil. It's never too late, Mr. Donnie. It's never too late, Sandra. It's never too late. Go back and 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 start living. Antonio used to tell us we are we're. He, he used to, I used to ask him, okay, so how far am I out the grave? 
because we're all literally the living David. He used to say, well, you have the green, but you got a little dirt on you. You still got some dirt on you. But he was all right. And then I'll ask him, say, so how far? And I haven't asked him in a while. But I have a feeling I'm at the, the gates of the cemetery. I don't have as much dirt on me. But, you know, I got a little bit more brush on. So just, it's never too late to be a kid. It's never too late to live the dreams you've had as a kid. So go do it. And have fun doing it. It's not fun if you don't enjoy it. And it took me a while to get to the point where I enjoyed having fun because it took me a while to love my kids. So, y'all go have fun. Antonio? Yes, sir. The honor is the living example of what you were just saying about why you can't quit. Because if she would have quit and stayed there, you did something just now to her that, that didn't happen to her before. Mm. You said to her, what happens when your son reads that book? What happens when your son takes that to school? What happens when your son says to his grandmother, Mom, what he said is in my mama's, see, that just happened to her. And she went, oh, my goodness. It just happened to her, but it was off the chain. But if she would have quit, if she would have stayed where she was, that wouldn't have happened. That's why you can't quit, even though you want to quit. And you'll want to quit again, but you can't because of moments just like what yep. just happened. Thank you, Deanna. Yep. I agree, Jerome. So much on that. I I think of I right now for our books and courses and everything we're working on. I'm most excited for our kids to see and experience those, and mainly the one about our journey, whatever we're calling that. Um, you know, being entrepreneurs in the '80s and all the things, because if they don't quite understand. And, and I don't think they quite understand where we are right now. You know, what, because when we came to Florida, there kind of became a disconnection and then the pandemic. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to their reactions and maybe seeing things a little bit differently. And it's interesting because our son is going to be retiring after 20 years in the Army uh, in November, and he's already out there speaking in Miami. Mm -hmm. He's working mainly, he, he does a lot of work with um, kids with Down syndrome. He teaches them fun functional fitness and twice a week every week but he's and then he's part of a crossfit um club where he works out so he's got that group of people along with all his military people um and then friends that actually live there from ohio but he has been i i'm not sure it was a business speaking a couple of times and watching him and seeing photos of him and looking like Phil, <laughs> um, it was really exciting. And I said, well, you know, we hope to be leaving a legacy for all of you. He said, I'm creating my own legacy. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That's what he and that's say, what you yeah. want them to do. Yeah. You know, you don't want them to just- But his legacy is Susan. because of you and Phil, Susan. His legacy, and he's building that because of the things that you guys have instilled in him. My heart just beats really heavy and hard and happy for you too, because you guys are amazing people, period. I mean, there's nothing else I can think to say about you guys are amazing and you love hard and you give a lot. And I so appreciate both you and, and Phil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Things That's are exactly things kind of get say, rough around it? here these days, but uh, we keep going.
We're, yeah. we're not giving up. We're looking forward to all this great things that are about to happen. Amen to that. Antonio? Amen. Yes, ma'am. Can I say something to, mm -hmm. to Deanna? Um, there are a I'm lot of the Holy uh, Spirit just lead this call. Go ahead. There's a lot of a lot of times I, you know, we don't have any children yet, but my mother, my mother completely defied the odds when when my parents got divorced and went back to school. And she always said to me, Renee, I wanna, I wanna make sure I'm out of college before you graduate from high school. She was, that was her, that was the, she always said that. And in 2000, she graduated from college. I saw my mother with a smile from here to Texas on the day that I saw her graduate. I saw her cross that stage and I was like, I was like, that is my mom. It got to the point that I thought that a bachelor's degree was called a bachelorette degree. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. But I, for some reason, I thought that. And I was like, my mom got a, got, a, got a bachelorette in music education. I was like, she did it. And I came to school and I said, man, I was so pumped because that helped me. And that let me know what was possible at the time. And I was like, wow. As I saw, and I knew the things that got dark and she wanted to give up plenty of times, but she didn't. And she graduated. And then for, for more than she graduated again with her master's. And I said, what is going on with you? But that became so important because I actually saw what was possible. So you, I don't think she ever under, I don't think I, she, I don't think I ever got a chance to tell her how much that helped me because I truly saw what was possible. And just like your book is truly going to open up to your son what is possible and he'll take that and run with it and even go further just because of the example i i can never ever um short change what, what my mom showed me because it showed me an example of reaching for what i wanted and going for it and getting it just that part continues to help me even though not in in necessarily in in school in the school environment but still pushing for for what i know that i deserve and whatever and whatever stage that i'm going to do it in so don't don't short change because it is everything that day will forever live on in my mind because i saw it i was like man i know what's possible so big ups to you diana love you right, renee what you are doing now, oh, doing yes. your writings and, you know, getting that inspiration and all from your mom and your mom seeing what you're doing and knowing what you're doing um, is, is truly inspiring. You know, one of the last things my mom said to myself after, you know, taking care of her for I don't know, five or six years or no, I, it was longer than that. I lost track of the years, but right towards the end that I got her tucked in bed and hospice was on the way and all of that. She looked up at me and she said, she thanked me for everything that I had done and took my hand. And she said, I know you're going to go on and do great things. And, you know, I hear that. Whenever I'm kind of getting down, I'll I'll hear that. And I, it's like loud in my head. I hear that. And, and that keeps me going. And it pushes me to continue and to not give up. That's a good point you brought up. Tony Robbins covers that very well. Tony Robbins said you need two types. Of, she said there's two types of motivation. There's push motivation and then there's pull motivation with susan okay okay janice I, um i'm gonna call you today about um the app and stuff so we'll call you today okay let me just see oh All right. yes Here, everybody have a good day okay what susan's talking about is pull motivation that's when you can't push yourself my mother's words pull her back on her feet yeah sometimes you need that pull motivation that's when you 
That's when you can't do it yourself, Chris. The grandma said, get up. That's right. All right, all right. That's, that's Tony Robbins says that very well. He, he says that very well. He says that very well. I definitely want to talk about the apps. I didn't I didn't call you yesterday, but it was on purpose. I wanted to I wanted to say more about it. Today. That's right. You didn't call me yesterday. I did not. I did not. Shame on me. I'm a sinner. I'm such a sinner. I'm such a sinner. The let's let's talk about that real quick. I am pretty I am so complete with all in Brook. It's not. <clears throat> Quiet is kept. I'll look right. As a matter of fact, y'all can you can look with me. Would you like to look with me? You can look with me. Okay, you can look with me. I will go here. So here is my folder of my files. I'm in the chat section right now. Now what I'm doing? Oh, let me stop real quick. Let me explain what I'm doing. I've been testing the code line by line, file by file. And then I've done eight upgrades. So I've done, I've done the, you know how you, you know how you get, you know how chat GPT, and they say this is the February 13th version, and then it goes on. This is the March 13th version. I've done that eight different times. That's what's been, I won't say take us so long, but that's what's been taken. Right? That's what's been taken. And I've added a lot of things that I did not have before. A lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of user features. Hold on, real quick. A lot of, a lot of user features. Just type myself a note. I just talk about something. A lot of user features I have added because, well, I, I, I just, I, I'll. If you ask, I'll tell you why. But I've, I've done them. So really, you're going to be on version eight of All in Brook when it starts, you're going to be on that. It'll be like 1.08. Everybody here is in a really good position to be exactly what you pray for, exactly what you pray for. You really are. You really, really are. I'm going to, like Monica's going to have two jobs. This job, she ain't gonna have to work. You know, she ain't gonna have to work. You know, we just gonna she's gonna get five more houses. You know what I mean? Or maybe five apartments, Grace. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe five apartments. Yeah, I think she's gonna do apartments now. I, don't, I think she's gonna leave them houses alone. I think apartments is gonna be. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, there she go, Grace. She, she threw a thumb up. Apartments is better. I don't. She ain't got time for no one person to walk out and everything to stop. You know, one person walk out. She got three hundred mil. You know, 300, <laughs> 300 more, for sure. You got time for that. I had a conversation yesterday with a group of people and I told them, I'm not doing what you think I'm doing. And, and, and in my line down, I told them, I said, and I cussed when I had this conversation. I was like, don't F with me. I mean, literally, and they wasn't, no, they wasn't. They are, they are friends, they're allies, but I let them know that y'all are still effing with me because, and I had Deanna pull up the numbers. I said, Deanna pull up the top tech companies in the world. My revenue, 347B. And I said, this is where I'm going. So all that, all that stuff for you trying to do what you do, do what you know, over here, that's not going to work. Don't eff with me. So they didn't do nothing wrong with them, but I do need to tell you how serious I am about this. If you know something and you're not actively working on getting better at that thing, and you think that what you know, however good you are, is going to be good enough for me over here, you can't be with me. That phase of my life is over. You're not, you're not hearing me. It's over. It's over. If you are not pushing yourself to legendary status, you effing with me. I mean, Does that pertain to these boxes, Mr. Smith? It sure do. Sure do. <laughs> sure do. <laughs> and I was saying, these are allies. I'm not effing with you. 
Now, I know you're not because <laughs> I get your <laughs> emails every day. <laughs> That's as close as that word I'm getting. <laughs> I know, right? But I told him that and I said, listen, I told him, I said, I just need y'all to get that you don't put new wine in old skins. This is what I told him. I told him that after I, after I stopped cussing. I told him that. I said, these are heathens, bro. You got to speak the heathen language. You know, I had to, I had to, got to speak the heathen. It's, it's with Willie and Sean. I had to go speak the heathen language. You know, I had to go speak the with the heathen language, you know, so they can get it. And I'm like, look, I'm going after $100 billion personally. So that puts company revenue somewhere way up there. So I need you to get, no matter how good you are, you can't be that good over here. You got to be more than good. And you got to get out there and you got to go fight for it. And I said, I know you feel rubbed the wrong way, but this is exactly what I said, Monica. But you don't get mad at Michael Jordan for going in practice, telling everybody, let's have a good practice day. Let's go win this championship. So don't get mad at me for doing the same thing. I'm not saying nothing wrong. I'm telling you, let's go get these six rings. Nah, that's not offensive. So you got to you you do it. So some of you who need an app, I failed to mention yesterday is your app needs to somehow leverage the rise and growth of this social media. That's what I failed to mention. That's why I didn't call you yesterday. Because me building you an app is not going to fix your problems if you stay the same version of wine that you are. So I forgot to mention this yesterday. So not, and, I, 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 and I didn't want to put you in a situation for you to be regular with new stuff. So I'll call you today now because I feel like I've done my part in telling you that we coming. And I'll show you right here. We are coming. Here is where I'm at. In fact, I'll start over. Here is Allenbrook. And this, this, there's the front end, there's the back end, there's the API, there's Rhino Leg. If you come on the, if you come in the API, here is, if you go to the endpoints, here is Vibin. So I, I probably should take that out. Anyway, here's Vibin right here. What is Vibin? You might as well just call that TikTok. There's public time, there's a CSS for it, right? Blah, blah, blah. So all I did was pick Vibin back up and made it TikToks. That, that's all I did. And that, that's all I did. All this is done. Everything outside is done. Upgraded. Everything in here is done. Upgraded. Everything over here is done. Upgraded. Done. Upgraded. That This is the CRM. That many different features. Social media listen. Python, artificial intelligence, machine learning. All this is deep machine learning here. Done, upgraded, done. Oh, not this one. This is this is when, when y'all upload stuff, it goes here, so it can go to the database. This, 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 done, 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 done. Back in, done. So now I'm in here. Done, 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 done. Got to come in here. All this is done. All this is done. All of this. There's the admin panel, which y'all will never see. But there you go. Done. All right. More API. All this is done. All this is done. All of it's done. It's all done. Here's your exclusive subscriptions. All done. Done. Done, done, done. More done. Come in here. Done. All this is done. All this is done, Jerome. All this is done. All this is done. Right here is where I am. I'm here in layout and I'm here in chat. So what I have is just to go through these and upgrade all these little folders here. That's it. That looks like a lot, and it is. However, 
That's 24 to 48 hours for me. No, you're not, you're not paying attention. It's 24 to 48 hours. 24 to 48 hours. That's all this is for me. Okay, that's all this is for me. I would tell you how much is in Allenberg, but I can't. It's too much. It really is. It's too much. Too much unique things happening because I built the social media that I want to. Please know, Monica Allenbrook is in process of supporting virtual reality right now. Yeah, not planned. That's all right. And, and accepts Bitcoin at this very moment. You better go ahead. I would play those games because my entire my entire thing is to make Arnold Brook into the metaverse. And all the foundation is already there. But anyway, so all this here is here. So you ain't got no time. Right now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'm doing right now to the little chat. What I just added to the chat while y'all were talking because I can is <clears throat> But in one of the sections, right? I'll just uh, anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm not even gonna show you. I'm not even, you just have to see it. You're gonna play with it. You're gonna play with it. You're gonna have to play with it. So if you want an app, submit your name. If you already submitted your name, you don't have to. And you will get a call today. We will talk privately. And here's the deal. This is what I'm gonna do. I think the conference. Law is hosting a conference with me on April 7th. It might be April 7th or it might be April 8th. Might be one of the other. You know why? Because I'm so close to finishing all the bro. That it's going, when the conference come out, that means all the is out. Because I'm going to use that conference and all those hundreds of thousands of millions of people to see it to push them to all the bro. That's what I'm going to do. Please, I beg you, I beg you, saints, holy men, valiant women, prestigious gays. I'm trying to think of every people group here, and, and suffering sabotagers. I beg you, I beseech thee. Think as if all your prayers. <laughs> I just saw, <laughs> saw Susan. Susan over here taking care of it. I just read a message. She is right. That's exactly what I was doing, Susan. <laughs> exactly what I was doing. Susan just gave me the mother. Stop it. You stop it right now. <laughs> uh, wiping the sleep out my eyes earlier. <laughs> Please take Please. it. Y'all got me? Because what is happening for you or what is happening to you is for you. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Everybody got me? Please take this seriously. Please, please, please. Please, because we're, we're, we're done for. I've made sure that Arlenbrook has video messaging call because of people who got family back home in Africa and the lease and stuff like that, right? So I wanted you to be able to call long distance without calling long distance. You understand, Grace? Here's what's going to happen. All the book will be first available on the computer. Or a login. All right, you can do it on your phone too. Sometime a month later, it'll be available, available on Apple and Android. And then go time. All the book really doesn't need to be promoted. I've got enough celebrities on board to do that. But if you're here and you've been here, it's time for you to get real selfish and take care of yourself. 
Adonia. You understand? Real selfish. If you were going to leave your job by the end of this year, if you know another social media that you are cool with the boss and have an opportunity to be the face of that's coming out, then go do that one. But if not, it seems to me everybody trying to leave their job. Seems to me entrepreneurs trying to get $10,000 a month. That comes <laughs> The law just opened up in me. me. Everybody trying to leave your job. Are the untrue entrepreneurs trying to get ten thousand a month? Seems mm-hmm. to me that we've all incarnated together for this moment. Mm. Keep talking. I receive. Oh, I'm okay. just. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping up and down in the car. Sorry. That's I receive. It. I receive. That's it. That's it. We've all come together for this moment. We've all come together for this moment. All of it. Like, just think about the divine timing of this now. It's, it's, too, it's too coincidental. Folk got books coming out at the right time. Melissa got a hundred different authors at the right time. Get out of my driveway. <laughs> it's too, it's too coinky dinky. It is. It is. Well, of course, you know, Grace's grandmother would tell her, baby, we know. And all things work together for good for them who love God and are called according to his purpose. That's what Grace's grandmother would tell her. I know she would. But grandma, don't be weary, baby. Don't be weary. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So we, let, let, let's put an immediate <laughs> Uh, rush on that, Susan. Immediate rush. Immediate rush for sure. Yes. Don't be weary, y'all. You, 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 it's coming. It's coming. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I mean, I could release all of it last month. I promise you. But there's some, there's some music features I want to have. It's a bunch of them. It's, 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 there's a lot of stuff that just don't work any other social media. It just don't work the way it's on, don't worry. The verification is two verifications. It's one you can buy to, to identify yourself. But I had that built four years ago. They copy it off of me at this point. I had that built four years ago. But it's, it's called Pro. And it's got little levels. And then there's the red verification. Oh, yeah, it's red. It's not. It's Allenbrook red. Allenbrook has a certain red. It's Allenbrook red. That one is near impossible to get. That's the real verification. Now I don't give a damn what Facebook and Instagram and Twitter do. I don't care how much they sell y'all checks. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. If you a big deal, you're going to stand out over here. We're going to make you special. We're going to make you special. Because when I build the metaverse over here, and you start walking around, Monica going to be glowing all in book red. You're going to know she there. You're going to have a little, little glow around her body. She's special. And, and Monica's going to love it. There's a whole gaming section in Arlenbrook. Whole gaming section. No, no, you're not being greedy at all. <laughs> you're doing I, I said be selfish. You're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> you're doing the right thing for sure. You know, right, and I'm and I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it too. I'm telling you, I got a whole gaming section to where you put games. Now, and I'm being real slick about it too, Jerome. The only people that put games up right now, I might. I'll, the only games I'm excited right now are the people in the gaming class. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm doing it on purpose because it's a bunch of kids in there. You know, it's, it's a bunch of kids. Like the the average age is like 14 or something. It's a bunch of kids in there. It's a bunch of kids in there. And it's, it's just an exciting time. It's an exciting, exciting, exciting time. And if you want to look here, this is Phil and Susan app right here. It's Phil and Susan app right here. It's already happening. They got meditation. This is the meditation. They have a whole audio player, Jerome. Anybody playing? No games around here, man. They got a whole audio player, man. This is the Apple version. 
This the Apple version. They got a look. They got. A, I'm not playing. This, this ain't even a real preview. This is just a little preview dashboard over here. Like I haven't built the app, but I'm not. There's no plan. Look. Yeah, y'all not y'all not paying attention. No, 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 no. Look, look. They got a little challenge section. Look, look content. You know, this is where all the content gonna go. You know what I'm saying? This is just basic design. Don't worry about all that right now. You know what I'm saying? And they got a whole human library. Look at it. Look at it. Now y'all not paying attention. This is not a, a whole human library. And I, by the time I finish this, it'll be a thousand lines of code. I ain't even playing. This is just basic structure. Then, just to show you, because you know, sometimes Deanna, you know, you got you got you got a show folk. We got the content. Oh, you know, I know you got sure. the content. But that's got... what my mom was talking about. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's right. You ain't just got the content. Look, here's the human consultants app. I got it all written down, drawn out. And look, Grace. Uh, every last one of their things right here. And then right here. The, this is app talk. Y'all don't y'all understand what this means. Oh, oh. That's all app talk. I know it's gonna be nice. Out. I got nice. the names of them. I've already so a lot of times I do work off the app because I need to I need to map it out first. Journaling, recommendations, self-assessment, quizzes, humor events. Please catch them on tour. Rating and review and feedback. Yeah, man. In a pain. In a plan. That's a whole app. I got the whole app. I got the whole app. I had that. I had that done in 24 hours. I could. I could. Please know. This is your time. Jay, this is your time. You hear me? This is your time. I know you're driving, but this is your time. This is your time. This is 100 percent your time. I put a big emphasis in Arlenbrook for starting calls. It's gonna be irritating to some of y'all. Sorry. I do apologize. Some people are just gonna call you for no reason. I do apologize for that. It's got nothing to do with me. I, I put some fixes in there for that though. Can I tell you one of the coolest things I did in all of it? Can I tell you one of the coolest things? Where you at, Monica? Put, put, put me an emoji on the screen. Let me tell you one of the coolest things I did. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I'm really. here listening. Messages. This is what I did. This is what I did. I ain't gonna lie to you, Jamal. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let me let me I mean, let me pull it up so I don't forget nothing. Let me see. One of the coolest things I did, Jerome, was messages. The chat to where I got everything exploding. This is what it means, brother. What happens, Jerome, is if you send a message in Arlenbrook, let me see if I can find it real quick. If you send a message in Arlenbrook, that message is encrypted immediately. And when it comes back, it's encrypted immediately. But then I apply the burn effect that you get to choose. From five seconds to five minutes, you can decide when that message burns and explodes. And then I made it nearly impossible to screenshot. You can't make it completely impossible to screenshot because folk can still take another device and do this. But I made it near impossible to screenshot messages on Allenbrook. And not only that, since Allenbrook is about security, when your message deletes from that person, it also deletes from our servers. I'll wait. I'll wow. Wait. I'll wait until y'all get what I said. Say it one and more time, sir. When you send, look, look yeah. Coinbase payments, look, mm -hmm. coin payments, look, coin payments, look, integration. Cele coin celebrities payments. are going to love that feature. I know. I know, I know, I, I know. Somebody told me yesterday, but people are going to use that feature to cheat. And I said, I want them to. No, 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 this is what I said. I said, I want them to. It's free speech. You get to do, you get to act the way you want to act. You're a grown person. You get to act how you want to act or whatever you do. But my job is to make sure that when you delete something, it gets deleted from my database too. Ask Facebook if they're doing that for you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. You just mm -hmm. created four more jobs that came from nowhere. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. There's no games. There's absolutely no games being played. Jerome, there's no games being played, man. I'm telling you, no games being played whatsoever. That whole burn effect is there, period. Mr. Smith? Yes, sir? Last year, mm -hmm. God told me, Jerome, 2023 is going to be your year. Look at that. You about to blow up. And I thought it was going to be my books. I thought it was going to be my podcast. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be my poetry. But I guess, Mr. Smith, he has done exceedingly, abundantly of, of all I was able to ask mm. or think. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the goal, y'all. The goal is to own everything, control everything. That's it. I mean, one of the one of the greatest teams. And this ain't this ain't got nothing to do with no cheating and nothing, but. You can't, again, my job is to provide you a platform for you do what you want to do. What's important though is we don't sell data. So me deleting your messages ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't want them anyway. I don't want to know about your squirrel fetish that you got. You know, and did you say squirrel fetish? I did. The little thing you do with the pineapple. So you good. You can keep that secret. You can keep that secret. I don't want no nothing about it. But you did. How much you smoke weed. Congratulations. <laughs> Continue to smoke. Our platform is built off of privacy and security. Uh, above everything else and paying creators above everything else. What you do here is yours. What you do here is yours. That's important because we're not selling no data. And since we don't sell data, guess what? If we don't sell data, Grace, that means we don't have ads. If I was selling data, then I have ads. And if we don't have ads, Grace, that means we don't have algorithmic controlled timelines. Not because I, I don't need to punish you so you can buy ads. Can I push it further, Grace? And since we sell monthly subscriptions, exclusive subscriptions in the CRM, you're the actual customer. You're not the product. You're the actual customer. And if you're the actual customer, can I push that further, Grace? Then you get customer service like Amazon because you're the actual customer. No, no, see, when you pay for something, you actually got to get customer service. When it's free, eh, you know, send a message. We'll see if we get back to you. No, all the book is free to join and all the features that you love and you do. But you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get the monthly subscriptions because I made it like Amazon Prime. You get a bunch of extra stuff if you do. You only need one. You only need one. If you if you if you're it's it's how I'm it's how I'm so it's how I'm making sure everybody supports creators. Well, I, I don't want to support no creator. That's fine. Enjoy all in group. But if you support at least one, you get all this stuff for free. Yeah, that's how it is. I'm incentivizing the users on the platform to support Monica and whatever she doing, support Renee and whatever she doing. You only need to do one. You only need to do one. Just one. Just one. One of the things I got going on that's going to be free, it'll come up in one of the upgrades, is ATS Kids, whole homeschool university. Whole homeschool, free, as long as you're supporting a creator. Can I tell you another one? Therapy. 
artificial intelligence therapy. My God. Free. Long as you support the create. Anyway. That know. is mind blowing. Do you know how many people I talk to that do not want to go any further with anything because they are afraid of having someone say, do therapy to assign them somewhere. I had people come to me and say, I, I understand what you're doing, but I, I can't because somebody's gonna find out that I contacted this one. It's crazy. You are tapping into a whole, oh my God, that's just well, amazing. I built the social media I want to, I want to be on. I don't like social media. I, I don't. I genuinely don't like social media. I just happen to be on it because I'm a businessman. If I wasn't, I would never be. I'd be one of those weird people. I'm not on social media. Be it's too people. nosy. It is. You know, <laughs> amplified. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and everybody got an opinion that I don't want to hear. <laughs> it's like the neighbor peeking out the window watching you, you know, <laughs> a zillion times more. Yeah. 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 And making comments. Yeah, yeah. Well, everything yeah. you do, everything you do, making comments. Yeah, no, and I, I get it. I'm not mad at you. Yeah, you, know, you know, to each his own. Do what you desire to do. It's all good to me. But I will tell you that it's going down, Jerome. It's going down. You can delete your messages, unsend your messages burn your messages and i just thought that was important and i it's not something i i invented i've invented a couple of things on it but i haven't it's that's not you know there's plenty of encrypted messages and stuff out there but it, i thought it needed to be a social media it thought it'd be a need to be a social media monica may run for president one day she don't need to be getting caught up no because sometimes you trust people and they hold that trust against you you didn't do nothing wrong. You was free and expressed yourself. Come on, now, come on, come on, you. get it. Now they mad at you and exposing you for it. You're not wrong for what you said. They wrong for violating your trust. It's the truth. It's true. People fall out with you six months later and act like you the, the, the worst thing to happen to them. Crazy so. Oh, you gotta protect people from that. You gotta protect people from that. You gotta protect people from that. Now, will people abuse that? Of course they will. It is what it is. I got nothing to do with that. And then and cheating is the worst of your problems. It's the next capital riots, all being burned messages. <laughs> that's, the, that's the worst of y'all. think about the wrong things. I think about the wrong thing. Remember, I'm a spy. I'm an ex spy. I'm thinking about terroristic things. Yeah, things like that but you know it's a gift and a curse it's a gift and a curse so what i want to do is if you if you need an app i want to make it very very affordable i have no idea that's why i'm gonna talk to each one of you one-on-one -on -one. each one of you one-on-one -on -one. there is no set price just remember you need to publish it under your name under your app development accounts i know you don't have one it will create you one because if not, then I'm going to do it under mine. And it's my app. And I get that ad money. to go to my bank account. I get them in-app purchases. And I don't mind that at all, Renee. I hope you blow your app up. Because you looking like, you, you show sure looking like a stream of income right now. If, if you let me post it. <clears throat> yeah, you let me post it. So you're going to post your own stuff. And then once I do that, you got to find somebody else to maintain. I'm not going to maintain. If you, if you want me to maintain, I'm going to charge you. I'm going I'm to charge you, charge you. Ah, that makes sense. Send that, send, that, send that to her too. Yeah. I'm going to charge you, charge you. Okay. If you want me to maintain it, well, we go together now. Okay, we go together. So go find somebody else. Get your little nephew. Find somebody else. That's your little nephew. 
I'm being, I'm doing this generously, I'm doing this generously. So we'll talk today and be, be ready, be ready, be ready to complete today or tomorrow. All right. Be ready and be ready to be ready to put some on it today or tomorrow. Is this, is this understood? Let me just make you make it clear because I'm, I'm moving fast, I'm moving fast, I'm moving fast, very affordable. I was telling somebody the other day, somebody the other day did something and I was like, look, I'm acting like you gave me $30,000 a month. I'm going to treat y'all apps the same way. Like you gave me $30,000 a month. Your job is to love your app more than I do. And that's going to be hard because everything I do is excellent. I'm a drone. I'm going to do your app so cold. I'm going to brag about it. You hear me? I'm going to brag about it. I'm going to love your app. I might sleep with your app. I might cut on my phone. And what the only got to say about that? Oh, well, I was talking about a different kind of sleep. But oh, I'll my sleep bad. Well, I'm just, you know, I'm just checking. Know. I'm just checking. Well, you know, now that I think about it, you know, computer love. You know, they've been talking about that since the 70s, huh? Yeah, I might, I might put that song on and do a different kind of sleep with you know you never know you never know you know i am a heathen i am a heathen that's really that's really it. i just i just want to i just want to instill in you that this is the time we have man god is so good we we, we really 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 have underestimated our impact on this planet we really have. And you know if you underestimate it, your impact on this planet if you don't have what you want. So if you don't have what you want, you have underestimated your impact on this planet. Is this clear? Let me see if I can just get people to... Let me see if I can... see how hard that's going to be, Jerome. Mm-hmm. All right. Is that okay? Is this, is this too difficult? Is this? Am I getting in trouble here? No, because I was okay. I was happy all day thinking about what I'm gonna do with my thousand dollars, and it didn't show up. But I said, you know what? It's coming. <laughs> I was well, like, maybe it's a test. Don't don't get all mad. It is, it is, it well, come. yeah, technically you could say it is a test. It's here. You feel me? It's yep. here. Wait, 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 wait. It's here. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. It's here. That's what you got to shift to now. As long as it's coming. Oh, it'll never come. God going to say, all right, well, yes. Oh, I'm going to keep it coming. I'm going to keep it coming. <laughs> Got it. No, you didn't need it. Let me keep it coming. It's here. What I want you to start doing now is I want you to act like the $1,000 guy. Got him. Walk differently. Make a budget for it. Know exactly what you're going to do with every cent of it. Okay. Put your ties to the side already. Okay. You put a hundred dollars to the side. I don't have a hundred dollars. Get a piece of paper, write one hundred dollars on it, and put it to the side. Okay. Go through the motions of putting it in an envelope. Mm-hmm. See yourself giving it to your pastor. Yeah. I'm okay. Because because I, I normally we got you know we got an app. I mean, but I, I put it through the app. So okay. go through the app, type in one hundred, and then go okay. And do it every day. 100. Okay. Right. Like, you know, you, you, yeah. you can't hit sin, but just do, <laughs> do, do it. Like, just do, yeah. go to it, type in 100. I'm, I'm teaching y'all something. There's a difference between believing and receiving. The church teach you how to believe. The church does not teach you how to receive. It does not. It does not. Man, look at this, man. It's too small for you to see, but we're going to look at it anyway. Here is, you know, all right, I've already got it. iOS, Safari, blah, 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 blah. But right here, just so we clear, this is some nerd stuff you don't need to know. That's encryption. There's your encryption. Generate encryption key. It's nerd stuff. You don't need to know. Don't worry about it. Implement self-deletion. It's small. I do apologize for it being small, but self-deletion. 
implement burner self deletion, generate an encryption key, blah, blah, blah. Insert the message to the database. All right. Like you want me to keep your message into the database because you want to be able to see your message when you get back there tomorrow, right, Grace? Ain't that what you? Yeah. Like you want you want to save your message to the database so you can see it. Mm -hmm. But you also want me to delete the message from the database when you want me to, don't you? Delete message from database. Yep. I'll keep it if you want me to but I prefer to delete it, Grace. Did, did you hear me? I got it. Okay, I'm just trying to make it make sense. Don't mind me. I'm just out here trying to make it make sense, Monica. I would delete your message from dead base because I want to. And if you think that that happens, I dare you to type an email at your job and, and delete it and see if it's actually deleted. I dare you. Go to your boss right now, don't you, and ask them if they actually delete the messages from the email. I dare you how to do it. Your job tracks every last one of your messages. You know why? Just in case you try to sue them. Yeah. If y'all think for one second that your job love you, you crazy as hell. Your job don't love you. Your job love your labor. Your job don't love you. You may love your job, but your job don't love you. Your job is a non-human enjoying your labor. All right. Grace, you still got the list of appy people? Yes. All right, all apps come with Apple and Android. That's it. I don't come up with nothing weird. No weird stuff. Okay? No weird stuff. Apple and Android. If you want me to do a site, I suppose I could. I mean, I just got a headache thinking about it, but I could. But I prefer just to do Apple and Android and you just take it to somebody else and do a website, but we'll see. I mean, the only reason why is because you're going to be like, well, domain name. And what server are we going to host it on? And I don't want to go through all those questions. So now I'm be like, fine, I'll put it on my service. But then I don't want to do that. Then, then I got to come email you every year, every two years, tell you to pay your domain name. I don't want to do all that. So I'm trying to stay free from all that. I just want to do the app. I just want to do the app. And your password and your username. So they email you and not me. I'm in. If you want a website, and if you know you need a website with that app, which makes sense because Facebook is a website, technically. And then it has that. If you want one, no worries. We'll do it. But we'll talk, we'll talk offline. I mean, I can hook them up with a website, you know. I, you know. That's true. It's Grace can. Okay. Man, that is true. I forgot about that. Yes. I will tell you this. Boy, this is your time now. Oh, uh, everything came back full circle. The Rakeza I tried to start three years ago. It's all in all in Brook. That's the CRM and exclusive subscription. It's, it just I started a network marketing company. I call it a social network. It's not a network marketing company. It's a social network. All I did was all I did was shift. I don't you every single thing that I've ever done. That was a great idea. And something happened. I never gave up. I just repackaged it. Something else. There is a lesson in there, man. There's a lesson in there, Jerome. There is a lesson in there for you to see this every single see thing. This. Every single thing. It really is. You know why? Because I've given up on so much. And then I thought about, well, you know, maybe if I go back to it, it'll look different. You know, and it'll give me a different perspective. So that's an interesting statement you just made. Good, good, good. Because that's exactly what I did, y'all. Exactly. Exactly. I said, all right, I want, I want people to get this. I said, forget network marketing. I'll just make a social network. Oh, ooh, ooh. 
you know vibing was the original name of the social media it's now all in brook vibing became the, the the reels the tiktoks <laughs> ats tv is now all in brook tv there's two tvs inside of all in brook your traditional facebook watcher one you can't even get on that's for big john now don't worry about it you can't get on you, you can't yeah, get on use that jingle now yeah, you, you sure all right. You know, oh, we, okay, man. We, we gotta get you in the studio, get you to get it in for real. Yes, that's right. That's, that's it. Right. That's it. That's it. Man, it is, it is, it is this is gonna be so much fun, y'all. It's gonna be so much fun. The most important thing that I have done with this, and I will show you, show my screen, and then we're done. I'm only doing this for I don't know. I'm doing this so you can stretch outside your own box. Is everybody okay with that? That's what I'm doing. You stretch outside your own box. You stretch outside your own box. It's the only reason I'm doing it. So let's. I just I just saw my brother, my Ramadan brother, just joined on. Let's see. You. I'm doing this just for you. Okay. Allenbrook is here. It's done. It's incredible. It's it's a disruptor. Get down and lay down. I'm going to take $100 billion from Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. Allenbrook is a mixture between Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Reddit. But not just that. I realized while building Allenbrook, Apple Music, Spotify, and podcasting was in my way. So this is the Wait, only help, social help me here. You, so, help, help me here. You you named full side connected. I mean Facebook. I mean Facebook. It, you named all, all the social media. How? Like what? Like what does it do? Does it make beds and cook? Meals too, and, like and what? You know, I'm saying it's it's a good man too. It wash your dishes, the show will. It show I sure did. Allenbrook is the only social media on the planet, only social media on the planet that you can upload audio straight to the your timeline, straight to it. Why did I do that? Musicians, you can go to SoundCloud. Or you come over here with all your friends, drop your whole album on your timeline. How about that? Oh man, appreciate you, Ibrahim. Appreciate you. Yes, he just said happy release day. It is the fourth. <laughs> it is the fourth. Yes, 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 yes. Honor Brook lets you upload music straight to your timeline, documents straight to your timeline. Yeah. Yeah, no games, no games. I'm telling you, as we conclude, this is getting ready to be your time, your time. Pretty much any of you that have been with me in the trenches, you are verified on all the group. You don't have to, you know, all you got to do is you just got to apply and I will fix that for you. You know, apply, so I'll fix it for you. Easy. I, it's, it's, it's a red check. It's Allenbrook Red. Allenbrook Red. There's a blue one too, but it's Allenbrook Red. Allenbrook Red. That's on purpose. That's completely on purpose. Completely on purpose. So just, just, you, you, you're good to go. But I expect you to be celebrities. You, you, you hear me? I expect, you see, lost like a baby. I'm already, baby. I'm already. <laughs> I'm already a celebrity. Yes, yes. I expect you to be celebrities. Yes, I expect you to be celebrities. So, Antonio, are, mm -hmm. all in, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around yeah, what it is. Yeah, and I think you got to stop calling it an app. It's an experience. I mean, it's, I mean, it's an experience because it sounds like it, it does 
you know, it's like one of them them pocket knives that have all kinds of different purposes and functionality to it. It's an experience. It's not yep. an app. Yep. That's your app. That, I'm going to say the Alderbrook experience. You're right. I'm going to do that. That's henceforth. That's in my vocabulary. And I didn't, I didn't put stuff together just to be putting it together, Monica. That's not what I did. I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. So hopefully y'all can go out. I'm, hopefully you can steal this to yourself. I went out and I said, okay, I know what I want Alderbrook to be, a city. I know I want Alderbrook to be a real life city somewhere in probably Texas that is a, has a circular formation like the Apple building because it's a resource-based economy. And the reason it's going to be in a circle so ain't nobody fighting over prime real estate. Did you get it? See, I can't have a resource-based economy when Adonia got a house on a hill. That's not resource-based economy. You, 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 I, I can't give Phil and Susan prime real estate and nobody else. So I got to give everybody prime real estate. Did you see it? Did you see what I did? So everybody has prime real estate. Did you? Okay, if you don't get it, Mr. Right. Mr. Smith. Yes, sir. Mr. Smith, based on what um what Adonia just <laughs> based on what Adonia just said, mm -hmm. and based on your response yeah. to what she just said. And I'm thinking about what you did for me. And what uh, I don't, uh, Deanna did for me, my brain is telling me if you really want to get Allingbrook into the mainstream, and I know that's what you want to do, once you got it ready to launch, in my humble opinion, mm -hmm. you will have to come out with some type of either instruction manual or a marketing manual or something that lets people know because you, you can't you can't do everything you can't do that yep. but what you're saying is you're telling us that this thing do, does stuff that we haven't imagined or can imagine mm -hmm. but for us to know that it exists for x amount of dollars is in and of itself going to draw more, it's going to attract more people so, 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 Mr. Smith, mm -hmm. stop playing around, mm -hmm. get up off your butt and do that because I'm telling you, and for those of us who are going to be on it, who are going to attract people, attract people, mm -hmm. we need to give them something to let them know if you ain't over here, you know, you, 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 you lose it. Okay. No, All right. Sense. You make sense. Be there, be square. Cause if you ain't there, you know where, but you, but. But but we don't have that because it's in your head. And they ain't doing us a damn bit of good in your head. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No, I free. think he should do a mind map. He should have a map, like a treasure map and all the steps so you, and stairs and, and, and left turns down. and right turns and hills exactly. and mountains that you can go through. And that's yep. called the Arlen Brick experience. You can go here, Bingo. you can go there, you, you can camp, you can glamp, you can... You know, whatever. I just, I just, I feel like it's an experience, and yeah. and if, if you got multiple roads to go down, I'm gonna need a map because I like to follow instructions. Experience, experience, so experience map. Experience map. Yep. Y'all are, are spitting facts. This is good. This is really good. You need an you onboarding process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've created Maybe something similar, but I've, I've got. It. Right there. So what I'll do is what I'll do without a person doing it. Oh yeah, yeah. So what? what I, Grace yeah. and I agree. <laughs> yeah, for real, right? Yeah, it needs to be automated, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely automated. Grace and Susan are taking taking the, their careers off now. They they're retiring from onboarding. They, yeah. <laughs> you know, you move to a new town, a new city, a new state, True. and you want to know what all is there. And yep. like Adonia said, you know, there's hills, there's lakes, there's all these things inside of it. So it's kind of like that when you first get into Arlingbrook. Sure, no, I agree. I completely agree. I completely agree. So what I'll do is I'll take Grace, send it to me. I've got a, I have a, I have a, a little step-by-step -step process thing, but I haven't built it out, but it's, it's coded in there. I forget what it's called. 
it's been it's coded in there. I just did it like yesterday. So just say all the brick experience, but I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take everything everybody said, but there's only one way for me to do it. So let me, because I built, I went out to the future. I know I need to build a city. So I said, oh, if I can't build a city yet, I need to build the online city. Does that make sense? So if I want to do the online boarding, pro, on, on boarding online onboarding process, then it needs to be 3D virtual reality, all of that. That's what it needs to be. And I have the skill sets. So Grace, the online, uh, the Allenbrook experience is going to be like a video game. Yes, it's going to be a 3D model. Well, that's awesome. I knew yeah. you would make it with mm -hmm. all the techie stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's the only way I see it. Everything, everything you said. That way, you won't just be getting on board. You're going to be walking through Allenbrook because I went out to the future. So I'm gonna have you walk through the online experience as a as an avatar. People will so never want to leave. They'll yeah. never want to leave because they know that it's continued to grow and grow and grow yeah. into the future. That keeps them there. That does. And that's a blessing. And I'm grateful too. That's a blessing. You know I'm what, grateful. Antonio T. Smith Jr. Yes, ma'am. I think I don't you, want to say something after you too. Go ahead. You talking of you explaining this brings a little bit more clarity to what God was telling me and mm -hmm. showing me. He'll never show me everything and he'll never tell me everything. He just give me these bits and pe pieces oh, about people. And I'd be like, oh, I want to see more. I want to know. So he treats but you like he treats me. About then. those cities. Mm -hmm. When he said that, that, that's why I asked you had to put in and got a projection from AI to find out what what those cities were and how many they were because I saw many cities and I was like, wow, but it brings a lot of clarity to that. Fair enough. For me, I'm just being nosy all up in your business. Well, you. he, he told me he started it, so I'm just saying. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. No, I, I agree 100%. And I'm definitely, definitely Adonia, you were spot I think you want to say something too, Adonia, but you were spot on. You were spot on and I'm definitely going to do that. There's two lunches. Don't remind me to say that, Grace. There's two lunches. So let me forget. Go ahead. I don't. I think I think I heard your voice. Could no, be. I'm good. I just think it's okay. it's bigger than you even think it is. I mean, I, I think you you're you're on something so big, and I know you know it is, but I think it's even beyond what you're thinking. So that's why when I said you said so many different things that it's that you're comparing it to, it's mm -hmm. it's it's huge and it's it's like a universe or what have you but it's again i really think it's an experience if you can do that many different things um you're capturing a lot of people's attention yeah. so they'll you'll need to be able to help them understand why Arlenbrook may be the only way they go they may not right. need to go to anywhere else right absolutely and that's exactly why well th th that's my point that's my point i'm Mr. Drawing Smith. This. yes sir and because i piggybacked on what Adonia said I'm not going to charge you for that idea. Oh, you can you you can use that for free. That makes I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. I, I I do appreciate you. I do appreciate you. But your check is still be in the mail, though. We'll, we'll make sure it get in the mail because uh, it's about to go down, Jerome. <laughs> it's about to go down for sure. We'll make sure the check is in the mail for sure. No, the if I had to to say, we're talking about. I, I, I've, I've always wanted to build well, if you just you had to read like Ready Player One to get what I'm truly going to say or at least seen the movie but that one company that in the future it's just one site that's what the metaverse is going to be that one site that everybody just goes into I'm just setting that up now I'm setting up that now Arlenbrook already has crypto payments inside of it already it's already doing crypto payments Period. It's it's there. It's already doing crypto payments. It's it's there. The two launches are like this here. So we're probably going to launch this weekend. Could be soon. Probably going to launch this weekend. Could be soon. And then there will be another launch. Uh, there'll be another launch. I think like August. Another launch like August. So this first launch is not a launch at all. And you you can call it a launch, etc beta launch or something like that whatever you want to call it 
but it's not a lunch. It's I got a bunch of machine learning, artificial intelligence in there, and I need data. So I have to launch twice. I have to, there are some systems that I've invented that have no data, so they don't exist right now. They exist, but they don't exist. I mean, like the CRM has like 60 different machine learning things in it. And until y'all play with it, it can't get better. So it can't listen to your Twitter good enough to then go inside your, your CRM customer base. Like I designed a CRM to listen to Arlenbrook, to listen to your Twitter and say, oh, well, Monica, you got somebody just like this paying a lot of money in your CRM. They are on this page right here. Here's their username. Here's what you say to them. If I tell y'all I invented the CRM to do that, I'm dead serious because Grace sucks at lead generation. Yes. <laughs> so, here, Grace, at Tallywood Homeboy is, he fits this description. Here's your opening message to him, Grace. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Do y'all hear what sort of game changer that is? I'm sorry. I'm just getting excited about all this stuff. My bad. My bad. It's game changer, y'all. Game changer. Game changer. So that's what we that's that's what we're doing. Anyway, you said you want to say something? Yes, I wanted to ask a question. I apologize. Mm -hmm. My corporate office is in the building. So listen, now I listened to you mention the metaverse. Yep. And I was thinking to myself, so this is going to be like a one-stop shop social media That's right. platform. That's right. And then you mentioned something about the, the only social media platform where you can upload your music directly, did you say, to your profile? Something like that, yep, sure do. Okay, yeah. so then it made me think, I'm just thinking, so now does blockchain, because I'm always thinking when I hear music, mm -hmm. Like as far as um, leveling the playing field, yep. that the recording artists being able to control their own music and um, what do you call it, um, you know what I'm saying, control mm -hmm. their own music. Right. And I studied where the blockchain could make that possible. So is the blockchain tied into this in any way? Absolutely. If um, absolutely and mentioning and the metaverse. Absolutely. And within a year, I plan to have the whole Arlenbrook and NFT platform. But we'll we'll come back to that later. Oh, okay. It'll be okay. a whole it's a whole blockchain. We'll come back to that later. All right, I got it. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yep. Every single thing I said I was gonna do, I have done. I have done. You hear me, Grace? I am done. I have done. And there's a lot of people. <clears throat> there you go. A lot of people, Grace. Did I say it right? Okay. That owe me money. I'm going to get my money out of them, too. You hear me? You did good. You said people. They won't give me my money. They won't give me my money. $34 million of it, too. <clears throat> One in particular. They won't give me my money. And Susan, her money. Amen. Okay. Anyway, don't worry about it. I digress. I digress. I mean it, though. I ain't playing. I'm going to get my money, Grace. You're only serious. I'm going to get my money. And Susan, money. I'm going to get my money. But that's all right, though. But we'll come back to that, Grace. You understand? We'll come back to it. It's all right. It's all right. We'll come back to it. We'll come back Yippee. to it. <laughs> Give him money. God We're going to be dancing after this call. I know Turn up right. the music. Turn up the music. Need my money. I need my money. That's what I'm going to get, Grace. I want my money. But yeah, that's basically it, y'all. So let's get out of here. Just know that it is, it is exactly what y'all think it is. But as Adonia said, even I don't know what it is. I'm going to agree with Adonia. Even I don't know what it is. You give me grace. Even I don't know what it is. 
Even I don't know what it is. I just know that one of the first things I'm doing is I'm flying out to the dome. One of the first things I'm doing. You gonna see? I got I got reasons. I have reasons. I have my reasons. I have my reasons. I have my reasons. I'm gonna fly out. And we gonna we gonna make. It I hope she, I hope she let you in. And she, not, she didn't she tell you she moved. That she moved. She ain't, gonna, she ain't gonna let me in. She ain't gonna let me in. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to camp outside and look homeless to make her feel bad. Yeah, you know, lose a couple of pounds. Can you let me in, please? I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> this is no, no, no. See, there's some, there's some folk that will benefit. There's some folk that will benefit. All right, child. So, Grace, get them, get them people, them, the map people. Make sure I call. Just give me like an hour or something to do some other stuff real quick. Catch up. Make sure I call. And from there, we get Deanna. And you want to come on home or you want to stay up there? Fair enough. Well, then I need a Prophet Jerry and Phil and Susan. Let's have a short conversation. Uh, concerned about for them. We want to have at least one thing a piece for the lunch for them. Right? Are you going to have a one o'clock call today? Yes, yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. At least, at least one of them Sorrentino books can come out around that time. You get, you know what I'm saying? And I'll be all four. We can get, we put at least one of them out there. We put at least one of them out there. Okay, yeah, we can do that for all the book launch. That's for sure. And Miss Trinae Carter is speaking tonight. She sure is. Yeah, she sure is. So catch y'all on the bureau for sure. Thank you so much for that reminder, Grace. And then there was one more thing that was rattling around in my head. Oh yes, nice it is a hilarious out, but I'm glad we talked about Deanna because y'all gonna hear me all day about the book. As soon as y'all get the book, if you ordered the book, please take pictures. And send it to me so I can exploit you. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you. Uh, you can't plan better. You can't dominate. Thank you all so much. Love you, everybody. <laughs> Love you more. Love you more. <laughs> Love right, you more. Everybody. I have a good one. <laughs>